What's going on guys? Welcome back to another NHL 21 video and today it's a really, really sexy one. What if Taylor Hall never left the Edmonton Oilers? Now, I get it. Technically, we can only do the NHL 21 year, which is the 2020-2021 uh, fictional NHL season, but it's for all intensive purposes. What if Taylor Hall was an Edmonton Oiler right now and we'll say that he never left okay so he is on the first line to start this NHL season alongside Connor McJesus and Leon Dreisaitl how sick of a first line is that and dude this whole team is pretty sick I mean then you got Turris you got Nuge and you got Yamamoto and then Chase on Haas Ennis starts to drop and then Cassian <laughs> how much Cassian's got a Oh my god, four years remaining at three mil. Ooh, don't know if he's gonna live to that one, live up to that one, Oilers fans. But uh yeah, and then on D we got Nurse Barry Lar Ooh, he's wearing number 94. Oh, I don't know about that. Ryan Smith might have a, a word about that. Uh and then we got Clefbaum, Larson, Russell, and Caleb Jones. In net, we have Koskinen <laughs> and Mike Smith, bro. Oof. And look at this, dude. Healthy scratches to start the year. James Neal and Pugliarvi. I don't think that's going to be how it goes in real life, man. Actually, I know it's not going to be. Let's just, let's do best lines and see if it throws the same thing like uh, here again. Uh, yeah, it did, dude. Ooh, James Neal's a healthy scratch according to EA. All right, here we are at the start of the season. Let's see what happens in the very first game. Taylor Hall and the Edmonton Oilers, baby. Oof, rough start. Oof, there we go. Two goals, Connor McDavid and Kyle Turris. Third period. Oh, 6-6. Six, six. Let's go. Two big goals from Taylor Hall, dude. Oh, my God. Going in overtime. Nothing. And in a shootout, Taylor Hall scores the game winner for the Edmonton Oilers against one of his former teams, the New Jersey Devils. But in this universe, he never played for New Jersey, man. He's been a lifelong Oilers fan. That number four is going up to the rafters with the Oilers in this universe. Ooh, looky, looky. After the end, after one month, the Edmonton Oilers are right now second in their division with 16 points in 11 games. And Taylor Hall, the leading scorer above guys like Dreisaitl and McDavid. Nine goals in 11 games and 14 points. That is a super line if I've ever seen one. Attaway, Halsey. Oh my god, dude. It's just as I predicted. Like, we're able to score a ton of goals. But the problem is that shooting tarp in the net, Mike Smith and Koskinen, dude. That's just like an absolute dumpster fire. That's why we can't win a bunch of games because we can score like maniac, but we just can't keep it out of our net, which I think is like the Oilers problem in real life too. All right. After the month of November, it seems like Hall has cooled down a bit because McDavid has passed him as the team's leading scorer with 30 points right now in 25 games. And how much does Hall have? Hall sitting right now, sitting pretty 29 points in 25 games, only one behind McDavid and Dreisaitl. He's doing a bit less good, but still, 26 and 25 is still exceptional. And uh, let's check Mike Smith's save percentage. Oh my god. Dude, Mike Smith's save percentage. I, dude, I've been ragging on this guy. He's got a 934 save percentage. That is like, for those of you who aren't too familiar with uh, like goalie stats, that is incredible, man. That's like having God in net. 934. And how about Koskinen? 905. Wow. Smith is having a hell of a year, dude. And uh, I just want to check up on uh, James Neal real quick in a healthy scratch mode. Okay, zero goals, zero assists, and uh, 15 bench warmer points. So, great season for James Neal. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going on a run now. Ah, of course, just as I say that, we lose 4-2 to Colorado. Come on, let's come out with some wins. 5-4 OT win against... Uh, Winnipeg, and then 6-1 against Philly, 5-2 against Vancouver. Dude, the Oilers are going on a run. Taylor Hall will finally get his chance in the playoffs with Edmonton, something he's been dreaming about. All right, so we're into the new year, 2021. McDavid is still leading scorer, 50 points in 39 games. 
And uh, we're going to check on the lineups right now. Dreisaitl, ooh, he's doing real well too. He's got 46 and 39. And that mean Hall is doing amazing. 24 goals already for Taylor Hall. 48 points in 39 games, dude. He is doing absolutely fantastic. How about on D? How's like the new Tyson Berry? Oh, dude, 25 points in 39 games is still actually really good for Berry. For, uh, for him, dude, to put up those kind of points, he's already matched his goal totals uh, with Toronto last season. And then uh, in net, Koskinen, 906. That's pretty meh. Mike Smith, his save percentage went up, dude. I am so sorry for every bad thing I've ever said about you. 936 is literally incredible. I know it's only seven games, but still, man. And uh, James Neal, oh, did you look at that? What an increase in stats. 15 beers chugged from the press box for James Neal. What an improvement. How about Cassian? How's Cassian doing? Cassian's got five goals, eight assists, and uh, zero haircuts on the season. Dude, is this actually going to happen? Like, I don't want to jinx it, but is Taylor Hall not only going to get to play in the playoffs, but in the playoffs with the Oilers? How sick would that be, dude? All right, 50 games in. We are second in our division, only two points behind the Sharks with two games in hand. McDavid's got 69 points, nice, in 50 games. And, dude, I bet you Dreisaitl and Hall are being absolute monsters. Dreisaitl's got 67 points. And, dude, Hall, 57 points, but 27 goals. He's cooled off a little bit, but you know what? 27 goals, dude, in 50 games. He's still got 32 games to go. That means that, dude, he can get to like 40, maybe 45, dare I say 50 goals in the season? Oh, I don't know, but I really hope so. All right, with a month left to go in the season, McDavid already has 91 points, 42 goals. Hall has 32 goals and 74 points in 64 games, man. Barry's got 38 points, 10 goals. That is damn good. And uh, as far as Smith goes, 931 still in 15 games. Koskinen, 907. That's pretty good. Like, if, if these two goalies can get that, like, of course, Smith is not going to have that. But if they can average about 915, 9, maybe 912, I think the Oilers are going to go to the playoffs in real life, even without Taylor Hall. So let's see how the final month of the season seems out for them. All right, so the Oilers had a rocky end to the season. They ended up finishing with 98 points, third in the division, going to go up against the Golden Knights in the playoffs. They still only bit us by one point, so we could have had home ice advantage. McDavid leads the team with 109 points to finish the season. And uh, let's check on Taylor Hall and Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl second on the team in points with 103, 33 goals, 70 assists, 42 Gs for Taylor Hall in Edmonton, man. That is a career high in goals for the guy. Closest he got was his Hart Trophy season with New Jersey when he had 39. That is absolutely incredible. Barry's got 44 points, so that turns out being a really good signing for them. Um, even a guy like Yamamoto took a big step. 50 points, 18 goals. Uh, in net, Smith still finished with a 926. Koskinen really dipped down to a 904 towards the end of the season, which really hurt us. But you know what? We still made the playoffs, and that's all that matters in Edmonton. Now that we have a shot, let's go make the most of it for Taylor Hall. All right. You know what? It's the Vegas Golden Knights, baby. Nobody's going out to the hotels. Nobody. We are staying into our own hotel. Bedtime is 9 p.m. We're going to have a curfew. Let's sim to game four. Come on, let's win at least one out of these three games. Game one, 4-3 win for Oil. 4-2 loss in game two. Game three, come on, let's bounce back. 5-1 win, let's go. Now, game four in Edmonton, Alex Chason is our leading scorer right now. Game four, 3-2 loss. 2-2 series in Vegas. We're going to jump right in and see what happens here. Period one, come on, boys. Oh, 2-0. Damn it, Koskinen. He's really starting to shit the bed here. Period 2, 4 nothing. Jesus, come on. Okay, and 4-2. We pull back a bit, but still a big loss for the oil. Now our backs are up against the wall, bro. In Edmonton, 
you know what? I got to throw Mike Smith in there, man. We need some life here. So Mike Smith, oh my God, Nuge has got six points, dude. That's really good. We're going to throw Mike Smith in the net because we're looking for a cry for help. And you know what? I don't think he's seen the ice all season, but we're going to put, uh, we'll, we'll swap out Nygaard for, guess who? Mr. Benchwarmer. He's been a playoff performer throughout his career. So let's see what he can do on the third line. All right, first period. Oh, one nothing. Second period. There you go, 3-1. Guess who it is, Mr. Benchwarmer. First game of the year. And Mr. No Haircuts coming in, dude. We are absolutely lighting it up, 3-1. Do not blow this third period, please. Okay, they didn't blow it. Beautiful. That's the way we got to go. We got to go Mr. Benchwarmer, uh, Baldy, no, uh, Mr. No Haircuts, and we got to go Mike Smith, the god in net. Game seven in Vegas. Let's go, baby. Let's take this game. All right, period one. One, one. I will take it. Connor McDavid, the captain, baby. Come on, Taylor Hall. Okay, one, one. We're going to sim it live. Holy shit. Come on. Come on. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Look who it is, Mr. Hall. Holy sh- He wants to go to the second round. He wants to win a- Oh my god. In the middle of my fucking sentence, it's Martinez tying it up. Come on, power play. Let's go. We have the deadliest power play. Dude, four minutes. Three minutes. Don't you dare give up a- Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, it's a shooting clinic. Holy shit, Oscar Clefbaum saves the day for the Edmonton Oilers. We were about to blow that. Oh my god, I forgot to put Smith back in. Of course it's Koskinen. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to press X, I'm going to open them, and I'm going to see a 4 beside Edmonton. Bang, 3, 2, 1... Okay, it's still tied. We're going to a second overtime. Same deal. Closing my eyes, bang, 3, 2... Fuck. Just like that, we're out at the hands of Alex Petrangelas. Unbelievable. Bruh. A great season. And it's my dude. I should have put Smith in there. Why didn't I put Mike Smith in the net? Damn it. But you know what? I'm used to this game cucking me by now, so I'm not that broken up about it. Hall had six points in seven games. Beautiful playoffs for him. Uh, Connor had seven and seven. And you know what? This is something these guys could be proud of. Every single one of them, uh, except for Koskinen, you fucking scrub. 897 save percentage. What the hell? Smith had a 950 in the one game he played. I just forgot to put him back in the net. Oh my god. James Neal had a goal in two games. Cassian even had two goals. Oh my god, dude. Why didn't I put Smith in there? Shit. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I call them What If? Then make sure you like this video and let me know you want to see more. I will see you guys next time.